All right, everyone, hello again. It's been a while, about two months since I did a regular uh, DVD update type thingamabobber. Um, so uh, I did a, a 3D one um, about a month ago or so, um, but I haven't done a, uh, a regular uh, update in a while. So I'm going to do one today. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff to talk about, not a whole lot, but some stuff nonetheless. First thing I'm going to talk about is the big thing. I, I wanted to do a separate video. I wanted to do an unboxing, but I just never got around to, to shooting it. And this is the Halloween set that Shout Factory and Anchor Bay released. This is a fantastic set. I've watched pretty much everything in it. I just haven't watched the Rob Zombie movies. Um, it is a great, great, great set. Um, and I just, I love how, first off, they decided to use the original theatrical artwork um, for all the movies, which I think is really great. Um, and then, of course, you get the producer's cut, which is probably the gold mine of this entire set, which um, I watched. And it's still a pretty shitty movie, but it's better, and it looks fantastic for being a movie that's, you know, it's been a bootleg for, for all this all this time. You get all these new special features on H2O, you get new makings of 4 and 5, and uh, it is a uh, it is a fantastic set. If you don't have it and you're a Halloween fan, I would say go out and get it because it is a great set. Um, there was some talk about audio sync problems on part four, and if there is audio sync problems, I couldn't tell. So, um, unless you're super anal like some of the people I've seen on the internet. It's not a big deal. Alright, uh, let's dive in. Let's go into DVDs. Recently, I have been getting an obsession with a new band. Um, the band I have chosen to have an obsession with is The Carpenters, and I bought this. This is called uh, Carpenters in Performance 1972. At the bottom it says The Broadcast Archives. Now, I thought this was a concert, which it is. Um, a very bootleg-looking concert with Japanese subtitles you can't turn off, and... It's, I don't know, it's just a weird, a weird concert to release. And the broadcast archives, I mean, I, when I saw that, I thought it was going to be like their TV appearances or something. But, um, it, it is what it is. I'm probably going to sell it. It wasn't very good. It was ten bucks. Kind of a waste of money. Um, <clears throat> I gotta talk quickly because I'm going to run out of time on my phone. <laughs> um... Alright, this one is a movie I used to own, that I sold because I never really watched it, and then I wanted to watch it again, and I found it for $2, so this is Identity. Um, I have not watched it since I bought it, but I remember really liking this movie, and then, you know, I just never watched it, so I got rid of it. So, looking forward to checking that out again. Um, I also picked up a movie called Smash Cut. This is a movie I've been wanting to see. This is with David Hess and uh, Michael Berryman, Herschel Gordon-Lewis is in this movie. It's... Uh, an interesting looking movie. I, I have not watched it yet. I got it for three bucks, but I will eventually. I also picked up the first season of The Wonder Years, which is a show I grew up watching. Um, I know that they released the whole thing through Time Life, but I chose to just buy the season sets. I'm okay with that. I'm not a, the biggest fan in the world, so I'm not going to run out and spend hundreds of dollars to get the uh, complete set. So I'll, I'll, I'm fine buying each uh, individual. And the nice thing about these is that um, the original music all of the original music is uh, around the episode, so that's kind of cool. And it's got some cool uh, interviews that I watched um, and stuff like that, so <clears throat> neat little set. Um, I also picked up the first season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which this is a f really funny show. Uh, I've been watching the second season, and it's it's just a really funny show. If you haven't seen this show already, uh, already go, go watch it, because it's really, really funny. Um, I also picked up Mom, which is a pretty good show with Anna, uh, Anna Ferris, and uh, actually it's coming back um, on TV pretty soon, so this is a good show. Um, not as It's done by Chuck Lorre, who did uh, Two and a Half Men and uh, Big Bang Theory, and uh, it's not as good as Big Bang Theory. I've never seen Two and a Half Men, but it's pretty good. It is what it is. Uh, next couple DVDs I bought it for a dollar. Um, it's Ace, I got Ace Ventura. I bought this just because this is the... the um, extended edition that was never released on Blu-ray, even though the Blu-ray does say that it's the extended edition, it's not. Um, so I picked that up for a dollar. I also picked up Green Mile, which is a movie I have not seen, but I want to see. Uh, I haven't, I have to 
find some time to sit down and watch a three hour movie, so I haven't watched it yet. I also picked up um, Casper Meets Wendy. Again, a dollar, why not? And Bowling for Columbine, which is a movie I like. Um, I had a, I owned a long time ago and sold it, but I'd like to keep this movie. I enjoy this movie. And I got the third season of New Girl, which is a show that I am really far behind on, because I still haven't finished season two yet. Um, and season four is on now, but I'll catch up. Okay, that's it for DVDs. Let's move on to Blu-rays. Forgive me if I am going quickly. I'm trying to beat the clock here. First one I bought is... A movie I got it for two bucks. It's called Strippers vs. Werewolves. I have not watched this yet. Um, I find it interesting, though, that this movie was released, and it says not rated on the back, and it also says this film is not yet rated by the MPAA, which I've never seen that on a movie before. But uh, I'm just judging by this, this terrible-looking picture in the back. It looks like it's going to be an awful movie. But Robert England's in it, so eventually I will watch it. I picked up X-Men Days of Future Past, which is a fantastic movie. Um, I bought the um, like Best Buy exclusive. This is the 3D version. Um, slides out. It's got like a bunch of you know extra crap, and uh, it's got the the regular Ultimate Edition in there without the slip cover, but that's all right. And yes, this is a cool little set. And I watched the 3D on it, and I'll tell you, this is probably one of the best 3D movies I've ever owned. It, you know, 3D never peters off or anything like that. It's It looks really fantastic. So, if you have a 3D TV out there, I would suggest going and picking that up. I also got Million Ways to Die in the West, which is a movie that was a letdown, but um, it is what it is. It's a fun movie. Um, all the funny shit's in the trailer, and that's kind of why it's not good. But uh, it's a fun movie. The unrated version, I think, is like 12 minutes longer or something like that. The movie's way too long, but it's a fun a fun little movie to watch. I also picked up uh, The Cat in the Hat. This is the original animated version. This is, uh, I got it for five, yeah, uh, yeah, five bucks for, at uh, Big Lots. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't seen this in years, but I saw it for five bucks, and I was like, you know what, why the hell not? Um, so yeah, it's also got, um... Daisy Head Maisie and the Huber Blob, or the Huber Bloob Highway, which I've never seen those. But, uh, you know what I'd like to get, and I don't think, it's on DVD, but I don't think it's on Blu-ray, is, um, the Grinch, Grinch is the Cat in the Hat. It's also known as the Cat in the Hat Gets Grinched. Um, I remember watching that as a kid all the time, so I'd really like to pick that up. I know, I, I know it's on DVD, it's on DVD with, um... I think Cat in the Hat and the Grinch, I think. Yeah, I think those, were, that's, those are the ones that's... Or maybe it's Horton Here's a Who and the Grinch or something. I don't remember. Anyway, moving on. I also picked up Saw, the complete movie collection. A lot of people were pissed about this because it's just the Saw movies. It's three discs, and there's no special features. I don't give a shit. These, these are movies that I really don't care about the special features on. I will buy it to watch the movies. And I don't care if it's on multiple discs. It's, uh, the first disc is the first, second movie. Second disc is three, four, and five. And the last one's six and seven, so. I've only watched the first three, so I haven't gotten, um, much into it, but I don't see any problem with the picture quality, so whatever. People just need to shut up. Okay, I also grabbed The Addams Family, which is a really great, fun movie from my childhood. Um, not much to say about it. It looks fine on Blu-ray. Um, so, yeah. I also repurchased Get Smart, which was a movie that I sold a while back. Um, oh man, just so there's a sticker on the back of this slipcover. Um, okay, um, I don't know why they did that. Um, but yeah, I got this for two bucks, I think. Three tops. At, uh, I think it was three. I got it at Disc Replay, so um, I was like, what the hell? Why the hell not, you know? I also grabbed Hatchet 2, which I think I got for $2 and some change uh, at my job with my discount. So, uh, this was a movie I've only seen once. I saw the first one a couple times, but I've only seen the second one, the second one uh, once and the third one also once. Um, so, I was like 3 bucks, hell yeah. All right, I also grabbed Pacific Rim 3D, which is a movie I've not seen yet, um, but I got this for 7 bucks, 3D Blu-ray, and it has all the discs and everything. Seven bucks, so I was like, hell yeah, I'll do that. 
I want to buy up the 3D movies before uh, 3D is officially declared dead, which I think it will be soon. I uh, also grabbed Silent Night, Deadly Night. This is the 30th anniversary edition. Um, I have read, and I would probably agree that this is just an upscale DVD quality. Um, so it's not the best. I mean, it looks fine. Um, but I mainly bought it because there's a commentary on it. And I also bought it at a closing FYE, which I think I talked about in my last video. Uh, I picked up a few things there um, in our last visit before they closed. So got this for like 13 bucks. I also grabbed the seventh season of Big Bang Theory, which is one of my favorite shows, if not my favorite show. Um, this was one of the best seasons they had, and I got this at Best Buy, so I got their exclusive lenticular cover. And I think this cover looks much better than the much better than the uh, the regular version, which is that. So I like this one better. I think this is this. It looks much better with season six, the way season six looked. <clears throat> I also picked up Godzilla in 3D, so I could continue to support 3D. Plus, I got this for 15 bucks because I bought this. Best Buy was uh, doing a deal where uh, uh, if you bought a TV show, you got this for cheaper. So instead of I think it was 28 bucks. I got it for 15 so I was like, hell yeah, because I was going to buy Big Bang Theory anyway, and I wanted to buy Godzilla, so. I also got Ghostbusters 1 and 2 Blu-ray, which I already have one, which is autographed by Harold Ramis and Dan Aykroyd, um, but I bought this because it was only like 17 bucks or 18 bucks, and there's a couple of new features in the first movie, and uh, there's special features in the second movie, um... So, yeah, it's cool. The second movie looks great on Blu-ray, and the special features were fun to watch, especially the, the new featurettes. I also picked up Casper. Um, and again, another movie from my childhood. Um, and it looks great for, you know, for being a movie that's almost 20 years old. <laughs> uh, I also picked up People Under Stairs. This one looks really good on Blu-ray. I was kind of surprised by how good this one looked. I recently watched it a couple weeks ago, and I was kind of surprised by it. How much I still enjoyed this movie. This is a interesting movie by Wes Craven, who's one of my favorite directors. Um, so, yep. Got a couple more here. Pumpkinhead Collector's Edition from Scream Factory. Thank you, Scream Factory. You guys are awesome. Movie looks great. Great special features, and uh, I love that poster. I've always loved that. I just think it's really cool looking. So. I also picked up the Eddie Murphy Nutty Professor, along with the Jerry Lewis Nutty Professor. <laughs> um, this one has just been a movie I've been wanting to get on Blu-ray for a while, and I've never seen this one before. So, uh, but I watched some of it, and it was it was good for what I was watching. It's got some interesting special features, but it says includes in-depth documentary Jerry Lewis No Apologies in depth, twenty minutes, not in depth. And the last thing I picked up was American Tale on Blu-ray. I got this for five bucks. So, I watched a little bit of it. It looks pretty good for, for Blu-ray, so. Alright, guys, that is it. That is everything I have bought in the last two months. Um, so, if you guys want to tell your friends about me, so you guys can subscribe, and so on and so forth. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.